Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you and telling you how to properly clean your makeup items. Now, I'm talking about the inside, the actual contents of the makeup, so the eyeshadows within an eyeshadow palette, or lipsticks, or good stuff like that, not the outside, the container. That's just easy enough to wipe down. So I got this request and I thought it was very important to make a video on it because it's hugely important for me to know how to properly clean my makeup since I am a freelance makeup artist. I am applying makeup on many, many different different people and many times it's within a couple minutes of the last person so it's very important to keep not only your brushes but your makeup very clean sanitary disinfected and ready to use on the next client because the last thing you want is an eye infection or you know herpes on the lips Nobody wants that. Today I'm strictly going to be talking about how to clean makeup, not your brushes. Brushes, those are easy enough to spot clean. If you want a more specific video, I believe I've already done a spot cleaning video. It may be a little out of date, but I could always find it and link it below. The first thing I'm going to stress that you have to have on hand is alcohol. Regular isopropyl alcohol. This is hugely important because this is going to disinfect the items. This can also be used for, like I said, spot cleaning brushes. After you use the actual spot cleaning solution, you can then disinfect with alcohol. It's a two-step kind of system, but it just makes sure that you are completely getting rid of everything. Alcohol is also very good to have on hand for several more reasons. One, it's really good for sanitizing your hands if you don't have a traditional hand sanitizer. And two, it's good to use on the surfaces. So if you have a surface that you need to clean up before putting your products down, if the um, outside of your products, so the, the container that the palette is in or anything like that, if that needs some cleaning up, alcohol is also very good to have on hand for that. So alcohol is a must have just in general. As far as sanitizing, and getting all of the junk off of your products, off of the powders, and everything in between, Beauty So Clean is the way to go. This is the brand that I love when it comes to sanitizing and not having to worry about anything getting cross-contaminated. So as it says on the bottle, it effectively cleans, rejuvenates, and removes bacteria from pressed powders, eyeshadows, cream foundations, etc. And this is the cosmetic sanitizer mist. Now, I want to show you another option from Beauty So Clean are the cosmetic sanitizer wipes. I have both of these. For me personally, I prefer the spray. The only thing is it can be a little bit of a hassle to bring with you because it's in a big spray bottle and it's a little heavier, makes your kit a little heavier versus a wipe is very light, very thin, and easy to store and carry with you. So the wipes are a little bit more convenient, but they are also a little more costly since they are more convenient. So I prefer the spray just in general, but also because it's more cost effective. The other option is obviously you can put this spray in a smaller spray bottle to make it more convenient. With Beauty So Clean, you need to be spraying your products in between each client. So this is ideal because if you are one of those people who double dips your eyeshadow brush, like I do, um, into you know a certain color instead of just getting all the product up at once and putting it on their eye and you're done, then you're going to need this because you just put whatever's on their eye in the eyeshadow and now that can go on someone else. So it's very important to be sanitizing in between clients. However, if you are someone who is able to get enough product up in one shot, put it on their eyes or wherever you're putting it on and just be done. That is ultimately the best way to avoid even having to sanitize because now you didn't cross contaminate anything. Here's what one of the little wipe packets looks like, by the way. I think, okay, this has 200 wipes in it. I did buy these at iMats last year. I stocked up and um, they had some deal where I had this and like a brush conditioner and a brush cleaner and all this stuff for like $50. It was wonderful. Um, but yeah, these are what the little wipes look like. I really haven't used tons because like I said, I really prefer the spray. But it's almost like a little alcohol uh, wipe in like an emergency kit. I'm definitely not sponsored by Beauty So Clean. I wish I was because I really swear by their products professionally. Um, but yeah, I definitely did buy these myself. 
but I just think they're the easiest way to keep everything clean. And if you want to be super clean, um, you can, like say it's, you're feeling like they really need it, you could spray a little bit of this, let it dry, and then spray a little bit of this and let it dry. The reason that Beauty So Clean is better than alcohol though is because it doesn't leave that film on top, which ultimately can make your eyeshadows, your blushes, whatever they are, unusable. Over time, the alcohol is going to create a film and it's going to make it so the products aren't as pigmented. It's, it's almost like a layer standing between you and the eyeshadow or the product. And ultimately, that's not very good either. So that's why it's very important to have an actual cosmetic sanitizer spray instead of just alcohol. But like I said, alcohol is important for many other things as well. The important thing you want to remember with this is you do not want to saturate your items. You don't want to put your palette here and the spray here and spray. You don't want to do that because again, that's eliminating why it's so good. All you got to do is hold it, I think it says like six inches, yeah, six inches away, spritz, spritz, let it dry, it takes a couple minutes and you are good. So that's really all there is to it. So those are my tips and favorite products to use for keeping your makeup items sanitized. Now when it comes to creams, it does say it can sanitize creams, however, when it comes to creams, you always want to scoop those out separately. So I have a little silver palette, um, and I'll just take my little scraper, take the cream concealer, I'll take the lipstick, whatever it is, and put it on the palette. Some makeup artists like to put it on the back of their hands, but again, I'm super big on <laughs> keeping it sanitary, so I use the palette. And that's how I will apply it to the client. I'll use a lip brush or I'll use uh, the concealer brush. Creams are just really hard to completely sanitize because they're just too wet. They're easier to harbor bacteria and it's just a mess. <laughs> so that's my suggestion there. And when it comes to pencils like eyeliner pencils or lip pencils, always sharpen in between each client because the sharpening is going to eliminate the factor of bacteria and it's also going to make it easier to apply. On top of sharpening, you want to spray it with the sanitizer mist before and after. So you are just covering all your bases. So this may be a lot of information and I'm sure I could go even further, but this is primarily for the people who are professional makeup artists out there because when it comes to your own makeup, yeah, this stuff helps and it's good to sanitize your makeup every now and then, especially if you used it when you were sick or something like that, but obviously it's just being applied on you and as long as your brushes are staying clean and you know how to use the products you personally should be pretty good um but like i said this is hugely important for people like me so i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did let me know in the comments what you do to sanitize your makeup and brushes i know that when it comes to brushes a lot of people have different methods and like i said i'll link a couple of videos i think i did a spot cleaning and a deep cleaning video so i will find those for you but i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye